It was George's love of country music that made the port what it is, but it was Margie's love of people that made the port flourish. Mom, it's been a good run. Thank you for everything this place put Ken and I through college, among many other things, and I wish Dad was here, and I love you very much. For the next 16 years, Margie kept the port going with help from her daughter Sharon and a lot of loyal customers. But there will never be another port of call, and we love you, Margie, very much. Some of whom took to calling her mom. God bless you, Mom. We love you. Yes, we love you so much. And here's to you, Mom, because you put me through college. I wish Dad was here, too. I'd have dead roses for somebody. She loved the pickers like they were her own. And you'd be hard pressed to find a picker who came through the port who doesn't have a special place for Margie in their heart. Port of Calls, where I started, I, I'd never played a band until I set foot in here, and I learned a lot about country music and how to play in a band. I can't thank Margie enough for giving me the opportunity to be here, and we all love her. But anyway, my most fondest memories of this place is when I come to Texas, this is where I started my music life. To me, the Port of Calls was a special place for musicians because the band was here four nights a week. You could come in and play. A lot of really good musicians, musicians hold their skills here. And then Margie was like a mama to everybody. It's a real live Texas honky tonk. There's not too many more like them. And uh, just a really special place. Well, I'm the official representative of the Brush Creek Band, the band that stole everybody from low country over the years. And, uh, I was supposed to say something about the Port of Call. What I got to say is there's really great people and great music, man. It's been a lot of fun. I made some great friends. You've seen a lot of them on tape tonight. A lot of them are all wandering around here. Marge and George did a great, great thing. It's a marvelous part. It's marvelous still for Kingsville. It's great to have been a part of it. That'll be proud. Hi, I'm Bill Johnson. We had the Brush and Green Band and we played here at the Port of Call. It was really a great time. It allowed us to do things that we never actually would have been able to do before. And what I'm really grateful for is the opportunity to come back 20 years later and make fools of ourselves all over again. And we really appreciate the help. Thanks. I can't tell you how much this place means to me and how much you mean to me. I showed up here one night. I didn't have a guitar. I didn't have an amp. They loaned me one and I stayed for two years. Uh, it made me a guitar player. I played acoustic. It made me a, uh, an electric guitar player. Um, it's just been the greatest time of my life, and I'm so glad to be here tonight and to celebrate it with you. Thank you for everything. First time I ever saw the protocol, George Pennington hired me to play the bass for him without ever having heard me, without ever having met me. I asked him ahead of time, you want to get together? No, just be there. We start at 8. So I showed up at 8 o'clock, and I met the Penningtons, one of the most amazing group of people I've ever known in my life. It's Texas real. Texas real. Really, when you think about all my country success with Country Club, it's pretty much just talking about this place in other words. So uh, thanks a lot for everything you gave me, Margie, and I wish you the best of luck in your future. And uh, we'll all be praying for your happiness and your health and for your family. God bless you, baby girl. Bye. For the Pickers, the music was the main thing. Rehearsals were few, and the shows were many. Four nights a week for many years, including Sunday, which was a jam night, where anybody who wanted to sing or play an instrument could get up and do it. He was born in to understand the port, you have to understand two things. Margie Pennington and the culture of the bar band. When you were in the house band, there was almost no equipment moving. You just showed up and played. Margie, well, she's just one of those rare human beings who has a heart that's big as Texas. She's tough enough to run a honky-tonk, but her heart is full of love and forgiveness. Margie looked out for her regulars and her musicians, and they looked out for her. She helped out a lot of people when they needed it, and she was like a mother to a lot of us. Hi, Margie. Hi, Margie. Happy 27th anniversary. This has got to be one of the best places in South Texas you'll ever find. 
There'll never be another place like the Port of Call, and there'll never be another Margie Pennington. And on behalf of all the pickers and customers over the years, this friend just wants to say thanks. Thanks, Margie, and thanks, George. We'll never forget you. Uh, for reasons other than this bar, so I'll, I'll leave that for a different